Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how a physiotherapist should assess the anterior to posterior joint play of the humeral head over glenoid cavity in variety of shoulder conditions involving reduced range of motion. Then we are going to learn how to treat the anterior to posterior joint play using the anterior to posterior flexion pull method. So let's get started. Now one of the way to assess the anterior to posterior joint play of the shoulder joint is by making the patient lie down in supine lying position. Now from here, the therapist is going to abduct the shoulder joint that needs to be tested and then support the posterior part of the axilla by standing in step standing position and utilizing the anterior part of thigh for providing stabilization to the shoulder joint. Now the left hand is going to go behind the scapula and stabilize it in this manner and the right hand is going to be placed over the humeral head as close to the shoulder joint as possible and then after taking all the slack the anterior to posterior joint play will be assessed which should be felt springy. Now similarly anterior to posterior joint play can also be assessed in the sitting position and for this the therapist is going to sit beside the patient on the side that needs to be tested. Now for example, for testing the right shoulder joint anterior to posterior joint play, the therapist is going to position the left hand behind over the scapula for the stabilization and the right hand is going to be placed over the humeral head as close to the shoulder joint line as possible. And after taking up all the slack, the force will be delivered from anterior to posterior direction with the right hand assessing the joint play which should be firm and elastic. Restricted joint play in the anterior to posterior direction of the humeral head can result in impaired shoulder elevation and flexion ranges in conditions like frozen shoulder. So now let's learn one such technique which can be utilized to correct this joint play and improve the shoulder flexion ranges. So in this manipulation technique to restore the anterior to posterior joint play, the therapist is going to stand behind the patient favoring the side that needs to be treated. And now utilizing the sternal region, the therapist is going to stabilize the patient's scapula on the right side, which we are going to treat. So after stabilizing the scapula in this manner, the therapist is now going to flex the elbow and the shoulder up to 90 degrees. And now the left hand is going to be brought from around the left side and then it is going to grab the olecranon region of the right elbow joint. Similarly, the right hand is also going to reinforce the left hand in this manner. And now the therapist is going to apply a force from anterior to posterior direction, taking up all the slack in the shoulder joint. Now without losing any tension in the shoulder joint, a high velocity low amplitude thrust will be given from the anterior to posterior direction. And this will be our anterior to posterior flexion pull method technique to restore the joint play. So this was all about how to assess and treat the anterior to posterior joint play in the shoulder joint. I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful for physiotherapy students and young practitioners. Do keep motivating us with your comments and feedback and also do not forget to share physio classroom videos with your contacts. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.